Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines and Tackle Junkie and I'm here with Dale Black from Gamma Lines and Dale's going to give us a demonstration on why Gamma Lines are so impact resistant and Dale tell us a bit about the chemistry of these lines first and then we'll get into the demonstration. Well Gamma Line is a molecularly altered line and what we do is we actually break down the long chains that are formed during the extrusion and drawing process. We break those down, incorporate more bonds and what it allows us to do is create a line that's not only going to be stronger, more abrasion resistant, but now we've increased the suppleness and the impact strength of the line. So it has a lot more of those characteristics that we're looking for as anglers. Now I know you have a test which shows that and uh, you tie a knot in the middle of the line and uh, you're going to show us that right yeah, now, this aren't you? Is, this is a type of demonstration you can use with any, any line out there just to compare what you're using to see whether it be ours or our competitors. Yeah. And what we do and what you can do is just tie an overhand knot in the line. And this is some standard uh, this is a nylon standard line. 10 pound 0.012 inch of our, of our competitor's line, put an overhand knot in it, and then we just wrap it around a little dowel rod or yep. a pen, it doesn't matter. Uh, right here, hold I'll, this I'll hold this in, and then I've got the little knot right here, yep. And then I'll use, I tried this once without the glove, don't <laughs> recommend that. <laughs> Okay, right. and now you gently start pulling back that's on it. That's right, and, and the it's fishermen break know. At the knot. That's right, and there it goes. Okay, and that's our competitor's 0 yep. .012 inch. And now we'll do a, a gamma molecularly altered line. We'll do the the overhand knot. And as every fisherman knows, having that knot in the middle of the line, that's going to be the place where it breaks. And uh, with that normal line, it took a bit of pulling to break it, but it was guaranteed to break it, that knot, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's going to. If it doesn't, then there was a nick or something in the line, and you yep. want to you want to redo it. Yep. Uh, because that can happen just from this cutting it. And Rightio. So this is this is the gamma line, and then yep. I've got another knot right in the middle here. And I know this might be hard to see on the, uh, on the YouTube, but uh, we're pulling on this knot here, and this is taking a lot more to get it through. So it's the process. Yeah. Whenever you incorporate and change that structure of the line, it just allows us to increase all those characteristics that are lost. It's not that our competitors' lines are bad, it's they're limited because of how they're made. And all the lines are made the same. They're extruded, they're drawn down. Recipes might be a little different, but they're still use that same process. So Wow, that's good. And now the gamma lines, uh, I know they're around the same uh, recommended retail price as the normal lines. Um, the fluorocarbon, you say, is a very high quality fluorocarbon, so it's probably at the top end of the fluorocarbon range. But uh, why would you use a normal line when you can use one that's this abrasion resistant? That's the question I I'm asking. I still haven't figured that one out <laughs> yet myself. Uh, I love the line. I changed my whole approach. Uh, I now have a confidence in my uh, while I'm out fishing that I would not get from some of the other products that I've used in the past. So it's really wow. been a lot of fun using it. So. Now, one more question. If I want to go on the internet and do a little bit of research on this, what website do I go to? Well, you can check us out at www.gammafishing.com. Thank you very much, and I appreciate the demonstration. Thanks, Steve.